Introduction to networks. So networks describe a relationship between lines and points, and we can use them in the real world to show relationships between objects that are interconnected. So let's have a look. So here we're going to draw our first network, A, B, and C. And we're going to join them up like so. Okay, so some things we have to know. The points here are called vertex, and the lines are called edges. Here we have a loop in the network. Now, when you draw them, the edges don't necessarily have to be straight. I could have drawn this network just like this. I could have connected A and B like that, B and C like that, sorry, A and C like that, B and C like that, and done the loop like so. They don't have to be straight. And here we just show with edges that two vertexes are related. Now something else we have to know is talking about the degree of a vertex. And the degree of a vertex shows how many edges are connected to it. So A has a degree of 2 because there's two edges connected to this vertex. So B is going to have a degree of 2 as well, because there's two edges connected to this vertex. And C is going to have a degree of 4, because we've got these two edges here, and this loop, which provides two connections. We can have different types of networks as well. We can have a directed network, Or we can have a, a weighted edge network. Direct network is going to look something like this, where we have some vertices A, B, and C. And they're joined like this, but they're directed because they have arrowheads showing that A has to go to B, the B can't go to A. A weighted edge network is actually going to have values on the edges. So this one could have like 10 and this one could have 8. And those weighted edges could represent a few things. It could represent distances between those points or even a rates of flow of like pipes or something. Depends on the context of the question. Let's have a look at this directed network. We're going to have A, B, C, and D. We're going to join them up like so. And I said it was directed, so we're going to need some arrowheads. Okay, so when we have a directed network, um, we don't just say the vertices have a degree, they can have an in degree and an out degree. So if we're talking about degrees, A would have a degree of 3, but because it's a directed network, the language changes a little bit. So A is going to have an in degree of 2 because it has two arrows coming in and it's going to have an out degree of one because it only has one arrow coming out of it. And if you did the same for the others, 
which either B has an in degree of 1 and an out degree of 2, C would have an in degree of 2 and an out degree of 1, and D would have an in degree of 1 and an out degree of 2. And this is only going to happen for directed networks. Thank you.